Hello, I'm Merrick Klein at the APA Research Lab in Tacoma. We hear from a lot of builders who are looking for an affordable way to balance energy and structural building code requirements. A solution that more and more builders are turning to is advanced framing. Advanced framing is also known as optimum value engineering or inline framing. It was developed by the NAHB Research Center in the 1970s for the purpose of optimizing material usage while maintaining structural integrity. Today, growing interest in energy conservation is leading more and more builders and installers to adopt advanced framing techniques. I'm joined in the APA lab today by engineered wood specialist Bob Clark. Bob, tell us a little more about advanced framing. Well, Merritt, advanced framing is a great concept for builders who are trying to meet today's strict energy codes while maintaining a home that is cost-effective, durable, and sustainable. In a nutshell, advanced framing is about removing redundant and unnecessary framing members and replacing them with more cavity insulation. This provides walls that have higher whole wall R values and reduced thermal bridging. Bob, tell us how does advanced framing differ from conventional framing? Well, with conventional framing, builders typically place 2 by 4 studs 16 inches on center. But with advanced framing, builders may go to a 2 by 6 stud placed 24 inches on center. This provides for wider and deeper cavities for more insulation. Advanced framing also addresses many of the prone areas where redundant framing members can cause hot or cold spots in a wall, such as at corners, T-intersections, at window framing, and at headers. Another advanced framing concept is stacked framing, where all of the members align to provide a direct load path, which can provide greater structural integrity. What are the advantages of adopting advanced framing techniques? Well, Merritt, there's four big ones. Energy efficiency is provided by higher whole wall R values. Uh, and reduced thermal bridging can actually help builders meet the Energy Star requirements today. Advanced framing is also provides cost effectiveness by optimizing building material usage and lowering labor. This has a positive impact on your bottom line. Thirdly is structural integrity. So when you take out redundant framing members, you aren't dumbing down the structure. And by placing plywood or OSB sheathing on the walls, you create a rigid box to withstand all of the design loads. And lastly is sustainability. Building with wood is the truly renewable resource, and advanced framing takes that a step further by optimizing the materials and reducing construction waste. Well, how do builders and contractors get started with advanced framing? Well, the good thing is the builder is already using the materials they need for advanced framing. It's regular lumber with plywood or OSB sheathing. They can start in phases as well. Don't have to jump in and do all of the advanced framing techniques at, at once. A builder may want to start by going to two by six studs placed 24 inches on center. This may help them achieve an R20 wall for energy purposes. After that, they can begin employing other practices such as corners, headers, and T-intersections. To learn more about advanced framing, refer to APA's Advanced Framing Construction Guide. Download a free copy of the guide as well as free advanced framing CAD details at performancewalls.org. For additional engineered wood product information and support, visit apawood.org or call the APA Help Desk at 253-620-7400.